Okay. Okay. Boy, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. What's been like a year? Yeah, it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute, but you know, sometimes you gotta take time to, you know, realize some things in your own life before you try and go and try to help others people uh, help other people in in their own life. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, you know, on this one, we're going to, uh, we're going we gonna to let some cats out of the bag in this one. I mean, I know it's, I know it's been a while and, uh, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do something a little more current, something a little more, some things that people are more focused on, on this one. So, uh. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before I actually dive into this, I want to ask a question real quick because I'm, I'm curious to know how people feel about it. Though, truthfully, I know people are going to mix feelings about it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But in terms of technology, um, when we talk about uh, technology in general and... Uh, you know, we talk about all these, all of these different devices that we have, all these digital devices that uh, <laughs> that we have, that a lot of us are truly addicted to. You know, we need to ask ourselves why, why, why are we so addicted to these to these devices? And I'll tell you why here in a minute. Um, now I had, I had done a video a while back about the, uh, about the cube matrix. I think it was a couple years ago where I, uh, did that video and, um, I never really got to the point of explaining why I wanted to do that video to start with. And uh, it pretty much all ties in together now to what I'm about to talk about, especially with these digital devices. Now, what you need to understand is even though that, yes, the, the, the cube matrix is run by means of time and space, but understand what that is, is that's just that is simply just a formula. It's a universal formula. It's it's an it's energy is what it is and it can it can be utilized by people in general like people itself can use that same formula and actually create their own matrix reality and that's exactly what we have and that's exactly what I'm going to talk about on this one we're going to talk about this so-called matrix and how it is utilized what you need to understand is this matrix is a program okay and I'm not referring to uh, just talking about the movie or imitating what the movie talks about here but what the movie talks about is radically basically the same kind of thing Okay, it's a program. When we talk about in in terms of reality, it's not real in a sense. It's real because again, it's it's a program that somebody created where they have you believe that it is real. But it's not it's not it's not it's it's an illusion it's not it's it's not something that it's not it's not universal it's what i'm trying to get at here it's not universal it's governed by human laws and what you need to understand about human laws is that the universal laws do not pertain to or follow human laws human laws are just that they're human laws but just because 
human law says you need to do this the universe does not follow the universal laws don't follow meanwhile for instance like when we when we do our years and our calendars you know like how do we go from 2000 BC to 2000 AD we literally went backwards in time and then forward again that's not how time moves time moves in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then it starts over again ten is actually one where it starts over again but it doesn't go uh... one two three four five six seven eight nine eight seven six five four three two one okay that's not how time moves time moves forward time does not move backwards you know what I'm saying when you look at a clock it doesn't just stop and start automatically moving backwards unless you got some kind of magical power or something but that has nothing to do with us that's all you anyways but so but my point here is this this matrix this this reality that somebody has created that they got you to believe in order for them to get you to believe it they had to program you into it they make you believe what they want you to believe that's how strong this program is and you don't understand that you think ones out here that are exposing things like uh, when somebody old is, is they start talking about the Illuminati and all oh, they start talking about secret societies and all this other jibber jabber and all this and yada 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 you don't even understand you think that somebody's out here exposing that <laughs> you don't you don't understand that it's the government itself that's putting that information out they're telling you their secrets they don't give a damn because they already have done what they need to do why because you've been you've become addicted to their program you see it every day you just don't even realize it when you pick up that cell phone when you pick up that tablet when you dive into the digital world through your monitor on your PC desktop and laptop doesn't matter you know when you dive into all of the when you dive into the digital world through means of these objects you become addicted to them why because they've mentally programmed you into their matrix reality and all everything that you see in this lifetime is all tied together into that particular box that is what I was talking about when I spoke about thinking outside of the box but the only way to think outside of the box is number one, you have to have an open mind. You cannot have a closed off mind because then that way you have a closed off box basically. Like you're everything inside that box, nothing goes out, nothing comes in. Everything that's in there is your uh, parameters of reality and what you perceive is real. But a lot of the time, like when it comes to things like religion, when you put religion inside of that box and you do a certain branch of religion, that particular religion has been programmed into your reality because they tricked you into believing that it's something real, but they never told you where it actually came from. They never gave you its origin and understand that all religion all come from the same origin. So, oh yeah, like I said, we're going to let some cats out of the bag on this one. Because it's, it's about that time. We must. We have to. Because things have literally gotten out of control. Technology itself has advanced. And we see that every year. We... Every year there's a new tablet, there's a new cell phone, there's a new monitor, there's new there's new updates to these things every year. Every year they get more and more advanced. Every year we become more and more addicted to it. And less 
you have the mental capacity to know and understand that yes i understand that this is a digital reality i understand that it is not real however i understand that i am only using it for purposes for my own entertainment and i will not believe or follow the program that comes off of it those are the kind of things that you have to tell yourself every time you dive into it you don't have to say it out loud but if you just tell yourself these things inside of your mind in your head i guarantee that things will definitely work out a lot better for you i don't have cable i don't watch tv but see that's where they try to counteract you by giving you the shows through these apps you know what I'm saying they need you to stay dived into the program. They can't let you just go. Because if too many of you go, then their whole thing falls apart. But the whole thing is going to fall apart anyways because that's their common that's their karma that they have coming to them. You know what I'm saying? When you keep constantly constantly stealing energy over and over and over and you never give back you know what I'm saying? There's no equal balance. The universal the universal law is going to come and you're gonna it's gonna have a tower moment where it's going to force things back into balance. You're not even gonna realize it. It's gonna happen spiritually first and then it's gonna manifest itself into the physical. Like when you look at the estate the state of the economy, for instance. Now I'm no master economist or anything, but I'm not stupid enough to <laughs> to not see the state of the actual economy you know what I'm saying not the state of the economy that the matrix is telling you that they give to you on your you know through the news on you know through the TV that's why I said I don't have cable anymore I don't watch the weather anymore I don't care what the weather says they can't predict the weather anymore because the weather is unpredictable because the earth is going through earth changes and they cannot tell you this this is why they keep constantly blaming climate uh, climate change on humans when the bottom line is the frequency the heart frequency of the actual planet itself is actually going up pole shifts magnetic field dissipation uh it's happening okay this is why the earth is warming up it is literally going to a higher frequency so eventually what's going to happen is which is already happening people are going to start going mentally crazy like people are going to start going just 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 straight whacked out like just bugging straight up <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's not going to take long for somebody to uh you know to just to just lose it you know what i'm saying anxiety will increase depression will will increase all of these things if you're not in tuned to this frequency these are all the things that you'll experience and it's it's already happening i mean now right now we're in the middle of leo season which um it's kind of funny i said this on another video where um it, it's kind of ironic how We've gone into Leo season, but right at the doorstep of Leo season, the new Lion King 2019 movie was released. How ironic. How ironic. And just the other day, uh, in the midst of that same season, there was a heat wave. That's ironic, too. Happened right at the doorstep, right as Leo season was literally coming through. There was a heat wave. Hmm? Because why? Leo is a fire sign and its ruling planet is the sun. Hmm. Huh. Funny. And now, just the other day as well, there was like, what did they say, a hundred fires? hundred wildfires just suddenly just burst out in the west because it was so damn hot. That's the energy coming in. Change is about to happen. But that's another video for another time. But getting back to the topic at hand, again, this illusion that you're living through, you know, through means of, like, 
like I said before, everything everything is digital. Everything is ones and zeros. Everything from your credit cards to the economy, uh, just just everything. You know, uh, the video games that you play every day. Uh, that when you dive into that cell phone, people are so hooked on their damn cell phones. Like they just can't put the damn things down. Tablets, cell phones, they just can't put them down. Oh, but it's so convenient. Oh yes, but it's so addicting at the same time. You can't put the damn things down when you're sitting in the middle of traffic. That's why more and more every day, you gotta have somebody holding down their damn horn and honking at you, telling your ass to go. You don't even pay attention to what the hell is going on in front of you because that one little text message that's nine times out of ten not even that important that you absolutely can't wait that, uh, you know, the text back. So you, you sit there, you, you're sitting at the light, light and turn green. You still sit in their text looking down. You're not even paying attention. Uh, another thing I'm seeing too lately is uh, people wearing earbuds in their cars. Please stop doing that. Please stop wearing earbuds in your cars. It's the reason why your cars have speakers. Like, what the hell's wrong with people? What the hell's wrong with people? And nowadays, they, they, the cars, you can link your damn phone to the car. So you can talk through the thing. Okay? You can talk through the thing. So please, stop wearing your damn headphones. Because, number one, you probably won't be able to hear anybody honking at you. If, say, like, the rear end of your car was on fire, you wouldn't hear it until it's too late. Like, it's just, to stop it. Just because you see somebody else doing it, that shit is not cool. doesn't mean that you follow it. It doesn't mean that you follow it. Okay? But speaking of follow, it's just, it's, it's one of them things, you know? It's one of those programs. Again, um, for instance, like, if somebody's, you know, through the damn TV, when they look at their favorite celebrities, whether it's a singer, actor, whatever. It was nowadays, what, now it's hip-hop and shit. Everybody, everybody loves hip-hop now all of a sudden, right? All of a sudden. Hip-hop has been great, okay? And again, don't, don't get me wrong, okay? I'll do another video on this, but for now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with hip-hop and there's nothing wrong with rap. There's nothing wrong with any kind of music that you put out. It's just sound frequencies. That's all it is. Okay, there's nothing wrong with the sound that comes out. It's the messages that you deliver. It's the messages that you deliver that make all of the difference. If you're making music talking about bitches and hoes and this and that and shaking your ass and that and sex and all this other shit on there, then what do you think? You know, and you put it through, you put it through that program, you know what I'm saying? That program that your mind picks up, that literally your mind gets attached to it and your mind picks up on those frequencies and you literally mentally get programmed. <laughs> when you see it come through that TV... You know what I'm saying? With these rappers with their clothes, uh, wearing, wearing wearing their pants below their ass. Like I don't, what the hell is that? I don't even know what the hell that is, honestly. I think that's honestly some gay shit because that's some prison shit right there. That's some prison shit, uh, right there. When you wear your pants, uh, below your ass, like, and it's funny too, cause <laughs> a lot of them even have belts, okay? but they still decide to pull their pants down below their ass and then put the belt on. So now on top of that, they walking around looking stupid as hell with this retarded ass walk. You know what I'm saying? Instead of actually having it on your damn waist with the belt on, you know what I'm saying? People think, oh, that's gangster. No, that's not gangster. That's gay. But, I mean, it is what it is. I know some people actually do it because they actually are, but, you know, they, your preference is your own. Just don't bring it my way. But, again, getting back to the point, um, you know, people get inspired through that shit. They look at these programs. They look at these people because they look at their life. But people don't understand. They're not. These people aren't really happy with their life. More, more money, more problems. That's all it is. More money, more problems. Because you don't understand that those 
uh, great actors and singers and celebrity have literally sold their life for a little bit of for for a little bit of fiat currency. And while I'm on the subject of fiat currency, let's get into it, shall we? Listen, I don't care how much money you have. You, uh, when I look at people, that's you know. I don't look at them any different. I don't care how great their talent is. I don't care how good they're... Because, understand, there's a lot of other people with those same talents out there. But just because you sold your life in exchange for this paper. So, in agreement to that, these owners of this power, this money, this illusion... Puts out, puts it out to the rest of the world how great you are. And meanwhile, you're out there doing their work, making their money. Because believe me, especially when they're when they're ready to come back for it, they're gonna come back for it. You've already witnessed that several times. When they're done with your ass, you're they're done. Especially if you're black. When they're done with your ass, they humiliate you to the rest of the damn world. Like, there's no easy way out of this. You either disappear altogether. Or you literally become absolutely nothing. They take, they strip you of all of that energy. But, you know, what, what goes around comes around. Just know that. Always. Doesn't matter how... Whatever you put out is what you get back. Always remember that. So, anyways, but getting on the subject of the, uh, of the fiat currencies and such. Um, listen. Uh, I want to I want to let the cat out about this this whole market shit this whole market issue you know what I'm saying we talk about money the dollar and and all of that people think that you know the market is oh so great but y'all don't understand now when the market was originally created it was created on the basis of determining fair value however greed is a real sin. These people have literally gone above and beyond the point of greed. <laughs> Where this is like th this is why market crashes happen. Okay, even though it may actually be under control because the bottom line is once once you go off of a actual physical asset standard such as gold silver you know things that you can actually physically hold you know what I'm saying things that actually come from the real matrix <laughs> you know what I'm saying not some ones and fucking zeros when you can actually hold things when you're actually backing it by something that's physical something that's physically real okay Everything is okay. But the moment you go off of that standard is the moment where you got to start using more and more energy to try to get pe uh, people to believe that it is real. Because the bottom line is, the truth of the matter is, the dollar is not backed by any, by nothing real. It is literally now and days backed by ones and zeros. Again, here we go back into this digital world. Everything, even your credit cards now, as you notice, they all have chips on them. Okay? And a lot of time these people have this notion to where they believe that if the if the market is doing great, the economy is doing great. Let me show you something about your current economy. Now People think the economy is doing great because why? Because they, they, they watch the news through the TV, through the monitor, through the whatever, through the cell phone, through the program. 
and they listen to these people come on here and lie to them yes lie to them saying that oh everything is great employment is up as you, as you can see the stock market is up just blowing straight just a whole lot of bullshit <laughs> Just blowing a whole bunch of air up the crack of people's ass. Like, meanwhile, meanwhile, you have, especially in the last couple months, in the last few months, there has been constant, 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 uh, bad economical news coming out. And it's real. It's real. You don't. It's no secret. And he got all these. Look, look at retail. Like hell, I was in Kohl's. What was it? We were in Kohl's the other week or so, or something like that. Normally, Kohl's is packed on a damn Saturday. There, you know, there was almost literally nobody in there. Only people I saw is old people, people buying. You know, old people that are able to buy this shit off of just their retirement money alone. You know what I mean? Hardly anybody in that store, and that store is always packed. That was very unusual, but I'm not surprised at it at all. I'm not surprised at it at all because I know what's going on. But let me let me just give you a little. Yeah, let, let, let me just let me just show you some real quick. This is just out of 40 stores. Like this doesn't even have all of them here. Um, but look at this. Uh, according to CoreSight Research, which predicts the number could hit 12,000 by the end of the year. You think that's bad? As online shopping continues to grow, another 75,000 stores could be lost by 2026. 75,000 stores. And you know, a lot of people like to try to blame this shit on Amazon and online stores. No, 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 stop it. Stop it. Sure, Amazon is doing great, but Amazon is not doing that great. This is not because of Amazon and online stores. No, this is not because it is coming from the digital world. It's because it is, it's is—it's been an illusion this entire time. Because the economy is actually in free fall mode, but they're not going to tell you that because, oh, they tell you, oh, look at the dust stock market because lately it's been going to new highs every day. New highs, new highs, new highs, new highs every day. Well, not every day, every week. Just about. Like every time we look up, it's going to new highs. Bad news comes out, stock market goes up. Does that make any sense to anybody? Does that honestly make any sense? Because again, I'm not an expert at this shit. I'm not an expert at this by any means. But the fact of the matter is, like, you cannot fake this. Like Nordstrom, here we go. There's a list here. Four stores. Four more, actually. Macy's, four more. We already know Macy's has already closed like hundreds of stores. Macy's has closed so many stores. Like, it's hard as hell to find a Macy's nowadays. Uh, especially around where I am. There's like none. Maybe like two, if that. Target closing stores. Kohl's, see? Kohl's. Kohl's and already closed stores. Now they're closing eight more. This is just this this year. This is just this year. This is not including the past years that they've of stores they've already closed. Lord and Taylor, nine stores. I don't know who that is. Top Shop, eleven stores. Uh, Walmart closing more stores. Seventeen more. J Crew twenty. Southeastern Grocers twenty two. J C Penney's. My God, I don't even know how J C Penney's is honestly still around. But they're closing 27 more stores. Christopher Banks, 40 stores. Abercrombie & Fitch, 40 stores. 40 stores in Francesca's. Bed Bath & Beyond, 40. Z Gallery, never heard of it. 44. Children's Place, 45. Party City, 45 more stores. CVS is even closing stores. Ridiculous. 46. Kmart, I <laughs> Jeez, I don't even I don't even know how the hell Kmart is is, is even still around to be honest. Like, that you can't find a Kmart anywhere. But apparently they still have some. They're closing 48 more. Kmart is basically damn near bankrupt. 
if they ain't already. Like I don't even like I honestly don't know how they're still around. But anyways, uh, Lowe's, fifty one stores. Victoria's Secret, fifty three stores. And truthfully, 53 stores, probably not even that many. Victoria's Secret has so many stores, but that's probably not even including how many stores they've probably already closed. Again, this is just 20. This is just out of 2019. Office Depot closing uh, 59 stores, 67, we're getting higher here, 72 more stores for Sears. Um, yeah, Sears is a big ass sinking ship. Yep. Uh, let's see. 102. For performance bicycle, Pier One Imports, 145. Nobody goes in Pier One anymore. Nobody goes in Pier One. Uh, stores, let's see, 150. Signet Jewelers. Uh, oh, wow, look at this shit. Starbucks. Wow, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Starbucks closing 150 stores. That's. That's unbelievable. Okay. Uh, Lifeway Christian Store. Whatever. 170. Mm. Things remembered. 200 stores. We're getting bigger here. Look at this. Gap. 230. Oh, everything is fine. Everything is fine. The economy's doing great. Right? Chico's. 250. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Everything's great. Charming Charlie. You already know about them. They've gone bankrupt. <laughs> Charming Charlie has gone bankrupt. They're closing 261 stores. Fred's, two, uh, th 312 stores. I don't know. I don't even know what the hell Fred's is, but wherever uh, Southeast and Midwest, I've never seen one. But apparently, uh, altogether, they'll eliminate more than roughly 560 locations. 560 stores. They're 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 going bankrupt. Whoever they are. You can already just see it. All these all these retail stores. Shop code 363. Look at this. Family Dollar. Family Dollar. The damn dollar store is closing stores. 390 stores. Charlotte Rules 512. Dress Barn 650. Uh, Gymboree 800 stores. Pay less. 2,100 stores. Okay, I guess it's safe to say that they've definitely gone bankrupt. Yeah, pay less file for bankruptcy in 2017. Now, they're closing this many. Now, here, here. Pay, pay less. Pay less is a store with cheaper shoes. How the hell does a store with cheaper shoes go bankrupt? You see, I mean, this is just out of the 40 right here though you know what I'm saying this is just out of 40 stores um what is it this is this is the uh, amount of employees laid off okay in large numbers uh, uh I can't pronounce that whatever um I guess fizzer fizzer whatever I don't know apparently they're laying off a whole bunch of people uh was announced in January 2018 according to Reuters the value oh cut 300 jobs okay so they're cutting 300 there 4,000 at AT&T um, 1,500 at General Motors yeah General Motors is a sinking ship too the automotive the automotive industry is a sinking ship in general Kimberly Clark 5,000 uh, 5,500 uh, 5,000 to 5,500, okay, Comcast, what do they got, uh, I guess 1,000, I suppose, it's right here, 1,000, but, yeah, or oh, they fired over 500 sales employees, there we go, okay, for no reason, apparently, uh, just, well, no, it's no reason, but see, this is what's funny, too, and they tell us that, uh, <laughs> they, they, they tell us every time we turn around that new jobs are being created. Meanwhile, hundreds and thousands of people are getting laid off, are getting laid off because the uh, economy is actually sinking, right? 
800 workers at Harley Davidson, Walmart laying off more people. They <laughs> closed 63 Sam's Club stores. That affected thousands. Uh, let's see. 60%. Citibank. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Cutting 10,000 jobs. A bank. Closing. 10,000 jobs. When we've already heard Deutsche Bank has closed 18,000. Deutsche Bank is a huge ass bank. It is a global bank. Like It's probably one of the largest banks in the world. And they're closing. Or they've uh, not closing. They've laid off 18,000 people. Okay. So banks are closing off, are laying off people. Retail businesses are laying off people. McDonald's is laying off people. That's ridiculous. Everybody works at McDonald's. I don't even... That's just sad. I don't even want to look at that number. Hewlett Packard, 5,000. <laughs> 1,300 to 2,000. Tenet Healthcare. Carrier, 215. Okay. 3,600 workers find themselves unemployed by the news. So, yeah, Tesla laying off people. <laughs> uh, Microsoft. Oh, we ain't that a bitch. Microsoft laying off people, huh? Okay, okay. Huh. Hundreds of employees who got the axe last year. Not even this year. That was last year, apparently. Might even see more. Snyder Electric. They're losing. Let me see. They cut some people. Smart number, but still 61. When you cut people in general, that's that's never a good sign. No matter how big or small the number is. Like, if you really are constantly starting to lay off people, that's, that's, that's a sign. Uh, let's see. Coca-Cola laying off people. 53. Dunkin' Donuts. They're laying off people. Um, I mean, but they sit around and tell you that the economy is great. Everything is great. Let's just keep believing in the illusion that we see every day. And let's just, let's, let's not even really worry about it. You know, just believe what the hell we say and, you know, and, and go about your day. That's the message. Now, if you're really that stupid to believe that, I'm sorry. I got nothing else to say. <laughs> I got no comment on that at all because literally people cannot function outside of their digital devices. Can you imagine if a solar flare came through and just wiped out all the whole electric grid and infrastructure knowing the magnetic field is actually getting weaker which oh well we also got pole shift too so that's not helping any at all especially over here on this side in the western hemisphere the north western hemisphere uh yeah you know it's it's uh it's a mess it's a mess it's a real mess but you know you reap what you sow i guess right you reap what you sow so bottom line is but yeah again people just, they can't think outside of the box. They can't think outside of the, of this, of the matrix, reality. The matrix, this illusion. Okay, this allu, this because that's exactly what it is. It's a, it's a total illusion. Like what is the other day? Somebody, no, well, not even just somebody. It was a couple people, a few people, doing this. They actually are not able to tell the difference between what their digital device is telling them aside from what they actually feel like there's like we have these thermostats where they just keep on dying off constantly because they're old they need they all really and truly need to be replaced but obviously nobody's going to spend them they're not going to want to spend the money to do that anyways everything's always about the damn money but anyways the fact of the matter is that the thermostats are breaking and all of a sudden they can't read the temperature right of the entire apartment um 
like the te- like the thermostat will probably say something like 83 degrees but when we actually use the other instruments that we have and actually take the temperature of the actual room like the actual room temperature it actually says 72 73 degrees so that's 10 whole degrees cooler than what the thermostat is actually saying and the sad part is these people are not able to tell the difference they're not able to tell the difference between what the hell they feel aside from what that damn thing is telling them because they believe every time what that thing is telling them because we've literally made things easier for us right but the thing is the more we make things easier for us the more we lose track of how to think for ourselves that that is the whole point of why I'm talking about this is because again you can't think outside of the program which by the way those are also rectangle shaped kind of funny right hmm but it's it's so ridiculous like it, it was to a point where I saw them bringing fans out of their rooms because they actually believed that it was 83 degrees and that it was hot the moment I stepped into that uh, into that place cool air just slapped me in the face <laughs> like okay hmm well that's interesting so what's wrong with it again test it out systems working fine the only thing that's not working is the damn thermostat but they can't tell the difference that is sad that is really <sighs> no words that is sad that people cannot think outside of what the hell that thing is telling them just because they just because that thing is telling them one thing they mentally believe that what it is saying is actually true and this is the whole point of what I'm trying to get across about not being able to think outside of the box not thinking outside of the program wake the hell up don't have much time left honestly what I just showed you there's not much time left you need people need to really and truly get your shit get your shit together now it's not for everybody though this is not for everybody everybody's not going to understand any of probably what the hell I just said nor care about it but to, to the ones that do get off your ass and let's do something or do something about it like just be aware is what I'm trying to say just be aware of what's actually going on so anyways that's that's really all that I wanted to bring forth into this video here okay um, There's not much else to uh, there's not really much else to really say like every everything else speaks for itself everything else speaks for itself and again you don't have to actually take my word for it I encourage you to go and actually do more research on this there's a site called Shadowstat and in that site it tells you the actual real em unemployment numbers and it's over 20 percent aside from what the hell the TV is telling you talking about all oh, three percent two percent oh lowest in 30 years my ass you got all these people getting laid off all these companies going out of business but you're gonna try to tell me that uh, everything is at its lowest point everything is just so perfectly great work market going up on word of mouth some big name dude that owns some shit some head of the Fed or whatever comes out and tells you that everything is great and then all of a sudden oh <laughs> everything must be great cuz he said it stop believing what everything uh everything that people tell you think for yourself that's the moral of the damn story and that's the moral of the video and that's all I'm saying from here on out
I thank y'all for listening. I know it's it, it had been a while, but you know, so you had to go clear the head before I came back here and did this again. So until next time, y'all, y'all take care. <laughs>